everyone, welcome back and if you're new to my channel, my name is Humby and today we are going to be reviewing, this is the January um, BoxyCharm Premium. So I have a decision to make at the beginning of this year and if you've seen any of my past videos, you'll know they just keep upping the boxes for BoxyCharm and I just have not been impressed with what they are putting in them. Uh, I really haven't been impressed with the choices as well. So let's dig in and see what we have here because depending what I have here and also the next month, if I'm not happy, because this is about $40 a month now. It used to be $35, but then what, what the issue is, is I also subscribe to base. So that one went up as well. So now I'm paying like, you know, an extra $10 a month for items that I'm just not like wowed and content with. So let's dig in and see what we have here. Also guys, please let me know what your thoughts are on your boxes as well. If you subscribe, also let me know what your thoughts are on this as well. This is what the pamphlet is this month and it says a better beauty. That's super cute very refreshing spa look and again it does state the items and the prices inside it has this and it says refresh your routine to get a fresh start this new year love how you look and feel with these good for you products that don't stop short of glam check out how some of these key ingredients add benefit on top of beauty so they, talk, they have here like shea butter grapefruit seed extract k-line clay jehovah seed and bamboo charcoal so i'll show them if you guys want to screenshot it and then or pause it and read so let's dig in and see what we have that's how they came packaged whoa almost dropped it First item I have here, this was actually something I was able to choose and I was actually pretty impressed by this. This is from Wishful and this is a Clean Genie Cleansing Butter. Um, a cleansing butter infused with green tea and cherry blossom extract to melt away makeup and impurities while keeping the skin feeling soft and supple instead of greasy and dry. So I actually like when I do um, makeup and I do like a really smoky eye or I just put actually a lot of makeup, like a full glam look. Um, sometimes just a regular cleanser doesn't get in there and like basically break up the makeup and come off, especially when you're using like waterproof liner and so forth. So I do like balms, but some of them are just so greasy that you need like other products to actually get that off of your skin as well. So let's see how this one works. Uh, I will keep you guys posted. This is $35. Super excited to try this. And this is part of the Huda Beauty brand. This is the skin care line. Um, and it's wishful. Wow. Not, I don't smell anything. But it is pretty, pretty thick. It literally just feels like... A lotion and it literally melts next thing I have here it's by juicy beauty the organic solution it's a bamboo pore refining mask another thing is I want more makeup I really do and this right here is $36 it's clear and hydrate your skin at the same time with this pore refining mask help protect against mask me with bamboo charcoal and kaolin, K-A-O-L-I-N clay to help detox, aspen bark to help smooth and hydrate, and exfoliating polyhydroxy acids as a softer, smoother complexion. I probably just birched a whole bunch of those <laughs> words. So this is what is in here. Ooh. 
Okay, it does feel like a, kind of like a clay mask. So it does feel that way. Doesn't really smell like, it literally just smells like, kind of like clay if you're working with clay. Let me know if you guys have tried this before. I do have something here from Persona. I did get one of their shadows palettes in one of these boxes and I really liked it. So um, I have a lip liner here for $14. So that's pretty. The color kind of reminds me of the Kim Kardashian line. Oh, that's a pretty neutral. There is some red undertone. It is warm. And this one is 90210. Okay. So I've actually seen some videos. They're actually starting to carry this line at TJ Maxx and Marshalls as well. This is the Desert Sunset palette. It does come with one of those cards again because we've gotten this brand before as well and um tenacious is a lion in the face of oppression unfaltering in conviction and cloth cloth so let's see what we have here these look pretty there it's a nice neutral tone palette so we'll try this out and this is $48 so we'll have to try that out and then we have this is by LYS Beauty, this is a Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer. And this is $20 for this. The daily, this daily serum primer helps balance and brighten the skin while controlling the appearance of excess shine throughout the day for a seamless complexion with or without makeup. It's packed with skin care ingredients for guilt-free beauty that feels as good as it looks. I like the packaging, that's pretty cool. So let's see what it's like. Ooh. Oh, it is a clear jelly. No scent. It's just a clear little jelly. A little bit tacky, not too much. And the last thing I have here is this. I have no idea what this is. Live beautifully, waste less, Izzy. Mascara black. The Izzy Zero. Let's open this up. What? I got the. I, I don't know guys let's open this thing up together so I unzipped it this is what's in here so let's read that dear charmer did you know that over 20 million plastic mascaras are discarded every year in the US alone thankfully Ziggy zero waste mascara is 100% recyclable endless refillable and certified carbon neutral one fall in love with the izzy zero waste mascara over the next three months return your empty izzy zero mascara 
in the enclosed prepaid mailer by 425-2022. Use checkout code CHARMER20 to enjoy 20% off your first Mascara refill. Do not discard the enclosed reusable mailer or prepaid shipping label. So I'm assuming it's this. I don't see the prepaid shipping label. Maybe that, I don't know. Send me back to save the world and a $5 restocking fee. Zero waste reusable shipper. Oh yeah, this is the shipper. So here we go. This is kind of a little bit confusing. And here is the mascara. Whoa, it is heavy. But I don't see, there's no prepaid label anywhere. Unless I'm missing something, guys. Let me know if I'm missing something. I don't see it. Because this isn't even, no. But anyway, here is the mascara. It is super, super heavy. Like, whoa. Okay, look at the wand. That's kind of different. Okay, so guys, let me know what you guys think of this box. I personally don't hate it at all. Um, this kind of had me a little bit confused, but it doesn't take much to confuse me, to be honest with you. Um, but not bad, you know, I'm excited about this. This is probably the thing in here the most that I'm more excited about. Um, I'm happy that they did include, you know, an eyeshadow palette. Um, I did have the lip liner. Not bad, guys, not bad. Let me know what you guys thought of this box. Let me know if you also have tried any of these items as well. And yeah, let's see what the next box gives me because I didn't hate this box, but again, for $40, if I was to get that wishful thing, that right there was like 35. So I definitely think I did get, um, it, it was worth it to me because I'm super excited about this as well. Uh, I also wish that they would include items that you can't find at TJ Maxx and Marshalls right now, because this brand right here, you could actually find a lot of it there. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't so already, please don't forget to subscribe and um, please don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you and have a wonderful day guys. Bye.